Hi everyone and welcome back to The Colour Cave where we like to play with art stuff. My name is Gem and today it's time for another haul video. Just to explain how I put these together, I film everything as it arrives and it's a combination of things that I have bought for the channel myself, gifts from you guys and things that have come from my PO box. And what I do is I save up all those clips until I've got enough to make a decent length video. I like to always make people aware of that before we get started. So we're going to go to top down view and see what goodies we have in store. So first up we have an Amazon fairy which uh, I'm always very appreciative of and this parcel has come from Valerie and she has been snooping in my Amazon wish list and she has so very generously and kindly sent me this. Isn't this just freaking adorable apart from the fact it's huge. Uh, this is uh, one of the pencil cases that I had seen on Amazon that I really liked and the reason I wanted it is for the design, it's not actually uh, for like the build quality or anything. I do have another one of these pencil cases and I like them because they've got this pocket in the front so if you've got like a swatch chart or even like um, colour combinations that you're using for a particular colouring page it's great to just pop in there to keep everything safe. It's also got this zip pocket at the back. So this type of pencil case is really handy if you're going away somewhere and it will fit a smaller colouring book inside it as well. So you can see here, it's, bas it's a basic layout. There's leaves in the middle that fold over like this and there's these wide elastic straps there. With the thinner pencils, you can get two, sometimes three at a push in here and with the fatter pencils you'll get two in each slot. So there is literally bags of room in this pencil case for a very large set of pencils or maybe even a couple of smaller sets of pencils. I keep all my Derwent pencils in one pencil case and I'm just like that. Uh, but basically I needed another pencil case because at Christmas I was gifted a set of the Monarch Black Widow pencils but I was also given a set of Castle Art pencils as well so I've got lots of extra pencils now. So this is absolutely perfect and it is so super freaking cute into the bargain. So Valerie, I want to thank you very much for this. It's, it's made my day. It's so, like things like this cheer me up. How can you not be in love with that? And how can that not make you smile? It's absolutely adorable, but it doesn't stop there. Not only was Valerie kind enough to send me this, but there was also something else in her parcel as well. And it was this. And this is Intricate Ink Animals in Detail, Volume 5 by Tim Jeffs. Most of you will know by now that I am a Tim Jeffs super fan. I aspire to be able to draw animals like him. I have so much respect for this guy because these drawings are absolutely amazing. So I won't ruin it for you, but I just wanted to show you a couple of the images. Uh, his drawings are just absolutely stunning and I really enjoy grayscale colouring, especially animals, when I am in a pinch for time, which for me, granted, is most of the time. So this is really nice to, you know, if you want some nice quick results that are going to look absolutely fabulous, grayscale colouring books are the way forward. And the range of images in this book are absolutely fantastic and you can spend loads of time on them or you can use block colour and they're still going to come out absolutely crazy good. Oh, I'm so excited. I can't wait to colour in this. But thank you again, Valerie. This this is just amazing. Oh, look at the back of this. I think Tim's coloured this one himself. I'm going to ask him. <laughs> um, yeah, these are great books. I highly recommend them. I like them as well because they're hardback, so they take a bit of, um, you know, they can take a bit of punishment and it's not going to end up all dog-eared. Uh, Valerie, thank you so, so much. I really, really appreciate your generosity. And I always say the same thing. I don't expect anything from you guys ever. Like, do not feel obligated at any point to send me anything because that's not what we're about. The reason that my Amazon wish list is down in the description of the videos is so that you guys can go and be nosy and see if there's anything that you might want for yourself. Because as everyone knows, I am the chief enabler and I will take that absolutely 100% but even sometimes I find looking at what other people want to use is enough to spark you know a little bit of inspiration or motivation for yourself uh, so that was really the intention of the wish list and the fact that you guys are willing to do th this kind of thing is just it, it knocks my socks off every time and I want you to know that I'm very very appreciative and you know that this is going to get used Um, I have a rule as well uh, that anything that comes in a whole in a whole video like this I do try and use it in a video 
video at some point. I do actually have a list and there is a queue, so this will be added to the list and added to the queue and we will get to it. So Valerie, once again, thank you very much and we shall move on. All right, this was a little self-purchase after my uh, little foray into some Bob Ross painting, I decided that I was going to definitely pursue it and do another couple of paintings, perhaps in a slightly more stress-free environment. So one of the things I wanted to do is invest in another couple of brushes and I bought myself the blender brush. Now this was one of the aspects of the painting that I did um, in, the, uh, in the video. Uh, that I really struggled with because I did have a soft two inch brush but it wasn't blending the way I wanted it to blend so I bought the official Bob Ross one and I understand why my brush wasn't doing anything this is like if you've ever stroked a, like a, a newborn puppy's ears like once they're dry I mean it's like this is like the softest brush I walked about for about 15 minutes when this arrived in the post just touching it I've never felt a brush as soft as this and that's why I was struggling with the technique in the painting so I'm hoping that this will make a difference I can't convey how soft this is to you I'm trying to think of something else to compare it to for those of you that haven't stroked puppy ears but it, it's like really silky like um, I'm trying to think a really soft makeup brush you know like um mm, like a really loose powder brush it's softer than that soft as the baby's bottom anyway yeah so that uh, that set me back i can't actually remember how much that set me back <laughs> i'll get to look and find out okay 15 pounds and 15 pence in the grand scheme of things, not a huge amount of money to pay for a paintbrush, but if you're going to buy yourself a, even a couple of brushes of the actual Bob Ross brand, it, you know, that it soon mounts up. So, But this was one I felt like I, I felt like I could substitute other brushes, but with this one I just I felt that I couldn't. I didn't have anything and I didn't really understand why the brush I had wasn't doing anything. I can't stop touching this. <laughs> stop touching. <laughs> um, but it was well worth the £15 in my book, but I'll have to test it out and find out. Right, so uh, the situation here is I've actually had to sit down for half an hour and compose myself and pour myself a stiff drink and that is a very, very stiff drink. There's uh, approximately nine-tenths Jack Daniels, one-tenth Coke in this. <laughs> Uh, to kind of put you in the picture here, uh, receiving Amazon packages at the farm is something that we don't, we just don't bat an eyelid at because between the boys ordering things from the farm, me ordering things for myself and for the house, we get Amazon parcels at least once every two or three days. So when I see Amazon boxes arrive, I don't really think anything of it until... You know, I, I sit down and sort them out. But anyway, getting off the point here. So uh, there was quite a few boxes today and I realised that all of them were addressed to me. And in one of those boxes was these two littler boxes. And it doesn't look very exciting until I go like this. And some of you will be very familiar with that logo. That is the Bob Ross logo. Now, the very lovely Venetia has sent me two tubes of Bob Ross oil paint. Now, if you have seen that I followed a Bob Ross tutorial video that I did, if you haven't, I'll link it in the description at the end card so you can watch it later. Uh, one of the things I had on my Amazon wish list was tubes of the Bob Ross oil paint because when I did that video, I was using Winsor & Newton student grade paint and I was wondering whether the consistency might be different between you know, the different brands and whether it would make my painting experience easier. So on my wish list, I had a tube of black and white because it's two colours that you use most often. And Venetia has very, very generously and kindly sent me these tubes of paint. Now, these tubes of paint aren't cheap. None of the Bob Ross branded stuff is cheap. And uh, she's not sent me just one, but she sent me both of them, which in itself, look at the size of these tubes. Like, these are big beasties. Um, I'm really excited about trying these out. Like, super, super excited. Uh, so you can imagine I was a little bit overwhelmed by that, uh, you know, for a, for a starter, because that's, that's a significant chunk of change right there. Um, and you know I don't expect anything from any of you at any point ever. Just the fact that you watch my videos and you comment and you, you know, you, you're in this nice cosy community is all that I need from you. So I just recovered from that and I opened the next Amazon box and this is what was inside. 
For the uninitiated, this is the Bob Ross Master Paint Set Landscape Paint Set. So this is like, um, you know how when you were younger and you got like sets of Lego and the, there was the little diddly ones and then there was like the big super duper ones. This is like the, the artist equivalent of a big super duper Lego set. And Venetia has sent me this too. This was not on my wish list. She's just, just given me this. Um... <laughs> I'm just absolutely overwhelmed. Sorry. God, I've spent ages pulling myself together. Come on, Jen, we can do this. I can't believe that you guys think that much of me that you would do something like this. So, Venetia, I just want to say thank you very much. I'm really, really overwhelmed by this, in case you can't tell already. Um, this is just... It's, it's amazing, and I can't believe that you would do something like that for, for little old me, so um, thank you. But anyway, let's show you what's inside because it's really exciting. And obviously I'm going to be doing more Bob Ross painting, so this is totally, totally going to get used. So if I just lift the lid off here, just like, oh, there's all the things. <laughs> the first thing we've got here is the Fan Blender brush. And this looks like quite a sturdy little brush. Um, so I am quite excited to, to get into this. What, something I've noticed is, see when I get new paint brushes, I have to feel the bristles. Uh, I, I'm, I'm quite a tactile person anyway. Um, I do like to feel things, you know, and I, and I have very descriptive words for things like knobbly bobbly and lumpy bumpy. Uh, so I have found out that I've gotten that from my mum. See if you give my mum something new, like see if you give her a gift or something. The first thing she does is run her hands over it and then she sniffs it. Now we have a standing joke. My mum and I are both big readers and we love to sniff books and that's kind of like an ongoing thing, but she sniffs everything. But oh, that's a lot firmer than the one that I've got. I wonder where the one that I've got is. Okay, so this, this was the fan brush that I was painting with before. So I can just hold them up side by side. So the Bob Ross fan brush is slightly shorter the bristles are slightly shorter but when I uh, when I run my fingers over them like that this is really soft and you know it's really pliable whereas this is a lot stiffer so I'm thinking about when we do our happy little trees with this having stiffer bristles that's going to give you a lot more form to your trees and your you know the branches so that's really good I'm really excited about that and that's just like one paintbrush the next thing we've got is the, the Bob Ross palette knife and this is a, a number 10. So this is the, this is like the big palette knife that you would use for your mountains and scraping over uh, like sections of, of like ground of terrain. The one that I have already is indeed a Bob Ross one also and it's the number 5. So I now have the two different size knives to, to use and again this one's... This one's a lot more rigid than the number five. There's a lot more bend in that. So again, you're you're going to be able to get much stiffer structures with that. And you're going to be able to work the paint a bit harder as well. We've got the script liner brush. As far as I know, all that you use this for is to sign your name at the bottom of the painting. Uh, and I, ha I didn't actually sign the, the first painting that I did, so... I might just uh, I might just have to now that I don't know how I'll get on with one of those brushes though. I'd probably make it really wonky. And then this is the brush that's more familiar to people. This is the two inch background background brush. Now again, I I actually already have one of these and I was talking about getting a second one, but when I see this one, it makes me realise how knackered mine is. I bought my first Bob Ross brush second hand because I couldn't afford to buy one new. They're really, really expensive in the UK. And this was the one I bought off of eBay. And you can see it's like a proper vintage one. It's the old the old logo and everything on it. Um, it was made in the USA, so that shows you how long ago that was. But if you take a look at the bristles, you can see this has been well loved. Um, and that's what I was using. And here's the new one. So that's actually really nice. And again, just like feeling the bristles, they actually feel quite similar. So although this is a much older brush, obviously you're, you're paying for the quality because that doesn't feel too different to what's going on here. And that's obviously been a well-loved brush. All the paint's chipped off it and everything. Uh, so I'm absolutely stoked to have a second one of these because it was something specifically that I was going to buy. And it's just to help uh, speed up painting and having to do less beating the devil out of it. So that is amazing as well. And also a one inch brush and I don't have one of these. Uh, so that's really, that is really, really cool as well. 
Um, and it's just a, a diddlier version. And again, that's better for like, if you look back at the video I did, once I'd done the outline of the, the mountains, that's really good for getting in and just smoothing out so that you can get that nice sort of hazy finish at the bottom. Okay, moving on. Lot to get through here. We've got a little bottle of liquid white. So this is the this is basically thinned down titanium white, and this is what you put on your canvas before you start, and that stays wet, so that gives you your wet and wet technique. And um, there are recipes and formulas on the internet to make your own instead of having to buy the Bob Ross one. I have got a little tub of this already, but again, if you're going to do more than a couple of paintings, you're going to go through this pretty quickly, especially if you're using the standard Bob Ross canvas size, which is 18 by 24 inches, which is approximately approximately 45 by 60 centimetres I think without looking it's like um it's about a2 size for people that use that system okay we've got a full selection of the Bob Ross colours here so we've got midnight black and titanium white which is the same as the ones in the big tubes but we've also got cad yellow bright red alizarin crimson phthalo blue sap green and van dyke brown so that covers that's basically um when you look at the early seasons of Bob Ross, he said that you only needed eight tubes of paint and that's these eight. It's only in the later seasons when he developed and formulated his own paints that he added in Dark Sienna. Um, and there's a few other colours creep in, you know, as he got a little bit more enthusiastic. But this is the bulk of what he uses for all these tutorials. So if you can get a hold of eight tubes of paint in these colours, you're pretty much set. So I'll just lift this out now. There is a DVD. Uh, I have not watched this yet, obviously, because I've just opened this up. Um, and I don't, I don't really know whether this is a tutorial DVD or whether it tells you about the supplies. It just says getting started with Bob Ross. 60 minutes, uh, full screen. Okay, so there's a step by step. So basically there's one, there's a tutorial in here um, of this painting here, which looks a wee bit like he's Mount McKinley painting, but it's not the same. So I'd be quite interested to watch that. It is in English, Spanish, French, Mandarin, German and Dutch. So multi multilingual. I'm just going through this in case anyone's interested in getting this from themselves because it really is. It's an excellent bit of kit. Um, so there's English instructions here. Oh, and this, this is like, this is step by step through the painting. So if you don't have means of playing a DVD, a lot of people don't now. Um, there is actually pictures with step-by-step -step instructions down the side as well for you to create. I don't know if it's this, yeah, it's not the same painting, but it's a very similar painting to the one that's on the DVD. Is it the same? No, it's not the same. Okay, so you've got two, and then there's just instructions in different languages after that as well. Hintergrund. It's a German. I could probably manage in German. Maybe I should try in German just for fun. So that's really good you're getting that as well to get you going, get you started before you start stressing yourself out of trying to watch them and film them. Welcome to the joy of painting. So it tells you a little bit about the items and uh, it says at the bottom, happy painting, oh, Bob Ross. So that is just, like, honestly, I'm, I'm absolutely freaking blown out of the water and I, I just cannot... I feel very blessed right now. I'm not even a religious person, but I feel very, very blessed right now. And uh, I'm a little bit frustrated as well because I have run out of stretch canvases and I'm waiting on more coming. And because COVID, they're taking ages. And all I want to do is just go and do a Bob Ross painting right now. Um, I'm going to have to wait. <laughs> um, so once again, Venetia, thank you ever so much. Like, I, can't, I can't believe this, but I promise you I will put these to good use and you shall see the fruits of my labour. I may even film another one now that I've got all this stuff because all of you really seem to enjoy that last video and I'll try and keep it as entertaining as the last time. Uh, hopefully my painting will turn out a wee bit better this time. So yes, I uh, I would like to say thank you once again. I can't say I, I can't say anything else, and I can't stop saying thank you. But this is absolutely unbelievable. Like you've just made my childhood dreams come true. I have wanted this since I was about five or six years old. So uh, yeah, I am absolutely stoked. Can we have a, a massive shout out in the comments to Venetia for being one hundred percent awesome and also being this thoughtful and generous? Okay, let's move on to the next item. Alright, this next item was quite an interesting one uh, because it came from an Amazon fairy and not only did it come from an Amazon fairy but it came from an Amazon fairy that had no gift label in it so I uh, did extend an invitation for said person to get in touch with me and they did. So thanks very much to Cindy 
who has sent this from my Amazon wish list, hence the reason I'm calling her an Amazon fairy, and it is Painterly Days by Christy Rice, and this is the Woodland Watercolour book. This book is just absolutely freaking gorgeous, and I'm going to show you why. There are... It feels almost like a project book. There is a foreword, a letter from the artist, a little bit about the artist. But not only that, there's whole sections with loads of stuff in it. So you've got your watercolour wheel here. And there's different things about the different things. And then there's the actual contents page. But before I actually go into the book, if you turn over into the back cover as well, there is another section here with like suggested materials um, and all these sorts of things. You know, like, so there's just lot, lots going on in this book. The paper feels lovely. Um, I haven't had a chance to paint on it yet. So before you get to the actual pages to paint, there's sections on each of the elements that are in the book. And Christy supplies some painting tips and all the rest of it for these kind of things. So you see there's a set of ferns and strawberries, ivy and acorns. And then we come to the actual illustrations and they're in this lovely grey colour so that they're, they're, it's not standing out if you're using nice delicate watercolours. And there is a lovely selection here. And there's also some inspirational quotes as well. Um, I'm not that keen on them, to be perfectly honest. But uh, this is just a really nice book. See, the paper feels lovely and I'm really excited to try this because... Well, just because it's a watercolour book. But you can see here there's loads to be getting on with. Absolutely loads. And the pages are so, so, so detailed. Now, the thing I like about this as well, when you've got a page like this where there's a pattern you can pick out one specific section, you know, like one branch and just paint that and you can essentially block out the rest of it with, you know, some sort of background or whatever because you've got this lovely pale grey line work. And some of the images are just lovely. They really, really are. So anyway, uh, Cindy, I want to say thank you very much. Um, this is absolutely just absolutely beautiful it really really is and i'm really excited about doing some painting in it i will perhaps do a page of this as a standalone video if that's something you'd like to see you can let me know in the comments and uh, let's move on to our next item so normally i pick up my meal from my p.o box maybe every two or three weeks it just depends when i am heading down into the city um, I do stay a fair distance away, so it's not a two-minute jaunt. I had emailed the P.O. Box people before Christmas asking them to forward me any mail, and they ignored me. So this package is has been forwarded from my P.O. Box. So everyone that sent me something from probably as far back as like the 15th of December, it's probably in here. We better get started. It is a large package. You don't want to be here all day. We've got a little parcel... It's a long skinny parcel and it's very well packaged. I'm impressed. Oh, hello. Oh, 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 okay. Oh, uh, oh, mm, oh. oh. <laughs> wow, a multicolored cow. Oh, with its tongue out. Oh, here we go. Hello, Gem. I just wanted to say thank you for your brilliant videos on YouTube. I really enjoy your content and I've learned so much. I still have a long way to go, as you can tell from this watercolour cow following... I did following a picture. I got a job lot of paintbrushes and thought you could put them to good use in the cave stash. Thanks again, Sue. I was born in Perth and now live in Leeds. Yay! A Perthy! A Perthy! <laughs> okay, uh, first of all, your cow's adorable. He's absolutely adorable. And secondly... This uh, this is amazing. We've got some paintbrushes. I might have to keep some of these paintbrushes for myself. So uh, <clears throat> a little card as well. Look how cute is that? Okay, let's have a little look at the brushes. These brushes. Oh goodness me! Oh, oh look at these bad boys. Oh, he <laughs> he. Oh. Okay, these are the uh, the Daler Rowney Aquafine brushes a number 30 round that is amazing and it feels so soft so so soft so we've got three of those uh <laughs> the these are these are for really big watercolor <laughs> paintings that's not a size that i would use to be fair so uh, yeah i think we'll put them in the stash shop and we've also got some 
graduate brushes again i think these are dealer rowney graduate brushes i'm not sure i don't even know if these are watercolor brushes they might be oh there's a size two in there and that's a size two filbert <laughs> but yeah there's a there's a selection of number four rounds which i think a four six a four and a six is probably the two most commonly used sizes of watercolor brushes for smaller artworks and um, so these are a great starting point so thank you very much that is um that is real good of you. That is really, really nice. Uh, really, really nice of you to do that. So, so, so generous. So we will uh, pop these up on the stash shop at the, the next opportunity that we have. Okay, I had to cover had to cover up an address there. The sender's address is there. So I, I know of this person. I don't know this person, but I know that they're a frequent commenter, particularly on uh, the Colour Cave Facebook page. Um, so yeah, that that's really nice, and uh, I I really uh, I like it when that happens. Like it makes me feel really connected to you guys. If I recognise, you know, even if it's just like I recognise a name. What on earth is in here? Oh, oh look, look, it's got lots of little things. in <laughs> Two gem, the note. Oh, okay, so I don't know whether to. Oh. Oh, I don't want to break this. Oh, there we go. Yay. Oh, look, it's a handmade Christmas card and I've got it in January. I'm so upset. Wishing you and your loved ones a very Merry Christmas from Germany, Michaela. Oh, this is the same person. I've just had an epiphany. So the person that I was talking about that comments on Facebook, they have a very different screen name on YouTube and it's the same person. Yay, I love it when a circuit comes together. If you do go into the comment section, if you're a frequenter of the comment section, uh, this person is BlackRose538 on YouTube and she's quite active in the comment session, section. I'm really glad I've linked all that up. That's made me happy today. Thank you so much and I'm really sorry that I've got this after Christmas. That doesn't mean that it won't go up on the pin board, by the way. Hmm. Okay, the note. I don't know whether I'm supposed to read the note first or just open the stuff. I think we'll read the note first. Or maybe I don't want to read the note. Is that going to ruin the surprise? I've been following your channel for quite a bit now and I truly enjoy your content and humour. I thank you. I've learned a lot about watercolour and what you can do with coloured pencils too. It was through your videos that I found Julia Kay's beautiful handmade watercolour paints and I'm proud to say that I too have a growing collection of the gorgeous paints she makes. Draco and Helena are two of my favourite paints. I also love the fact that you take the time to interact with us viewers. We spoke quite a few times through the comments and I always feel honoured each time you like or reply to my comments. It's kind of a job. <laughs> and you're most welcome. We also seem to share a love for reading and for gaming too. Yes. Assassin's Creed, Skyrim and the new Tomb Raider games are some of my absolute favourites. Me too. So to support one of my favourite YouTube creators, I've included a few of my unused art supplies. If you have no use for them yourself, consider them donations to the cave stash. That is amazing. Like that is just such a lovely thing to do. It really, really is. Okay, no, don't don't tell me what you've included. I don't want to know. All right, okay, I'm not reading the second half because I want to find out all. <laughs> okay, let's have a look like here. Oh, so we've got... Art alternatives, this looks like, uh, oh, and now, it is a little, looks like a watercolour sketchbook. Mm, no, too thin for watercolour paper. Uh, it's perforated though, so you can tear these out. That's really cute. I absolutely love these kind of things. I am a person that likes to keep my sketches in my sketchbook. Uh, I know a lot of colourists tear out their colouring pages as well, and it's so that they can colour them on a clipboard. You know, they're not logging the book about. I totally get it, but I just I just can't do it. Uh, I think somebody would probably be able to put this to better use than I could. So I think we might have to put that in the stash. But that's amazing. <laughs> I see stuff. Oh, look, look, look. This is so cute. Sweet Dawn, I'm done with Copix. I remember you doing this, but that's... Oh, I don't think I've got a frame big enough for this, but I will soon get one. So we've got sweets for clouds. We've got the lollipops here and the roads like a, like a block of chocolate. And maybe this is half a gobstopper. Oh, that's so cool. Thank you for sending me that. That is lovely. Oh, I just love stuff like this. Like this makes me so happy. Oh, 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 the <laughs> I've seen these. I've never actually used it and I'm quite, uh, quite excited to try it. Uh, this is a, a paint, Puck. I said p -p 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 puck 
and it's you're supposed to stick it in the bottom of your water jar and then you clean your watercolor brushes on it like this and it's supposed to help save time basically uh, i will most definitely use this there's some really funny little illustrations on the back i don't know if you can see them or not they're probably too small but uh, yeah, there's uh, yeah, there's basically like paintbrushes with little monsters on them and that's supposed to be the paint and the little paint box like, yeah. Okay, that's excellent. I'm, uh, something I'll be able to use. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. These are Karen Brushmarker Pros. Uh, I have some of these. These are really expensive. What are you doing, Black Rose? Like these are, these are properly expensive pens. Whoa. And she sent one, six, seven, eight. there's eight in here. Now, uh, yeah, okay, I I have got a set of these. It's not like a full set. So what I shall do is I'll keep any that I don't have and now the rest I shall put in the stash shop. Oh, that's amazing. Why are you getting rid of these? Did you do the same as me and go and buy a whole set? Because <laughs> that wouldn't surprise me. I, I, I'm not really one for using markers or brush markers, but these are exceptional to the point where I got these in a, I think it was a scroller box the first time. And I actually went out and bought a set of them. They're really expensive, but they're totally worth it. So uh, thank you so much. I can't wait. Wow. What else is in here? Oh, oh hello. <laughs> Fabric Castell pit pens. Uh, yeah, I don't get on with pit pens. Did you send this on purpose as a joke? Because I know that you know about this. Uh, yeah, I don't get on well with pit pens at all, I really... And there's no particular reason, I just, I don't seem to, like, they just don't like to draw for me. <laughs> ah, this is, I love this. Okay, that was a bit of packing. I was just making sure that there was definitely nothing in there. What is this? This is so much fun, see, just opening stuff. <laughs> Oh, Pro Markers as well. Again, I think this looks remarkably like a set that came in a subscription box. Pro Markers are really good as well. I liked these. I remember liking these. I like the bullet nib. I don't remember being so keen on the, the chisel nib. And this was like skin tones. What did I use this for? I'm trying to remember the artwork that I did with these and I can't remember. It was a long time ago. Anyway, yep. Yeah, okay, so we've got more of that. I don't know what these are. Um, Brow so broken. Okay, yeah, so this is, it's orange flavour and it's mitt farb stuff. Well, farb's like, uh, is that not like colour? Oh, so is this like with artificial colouring? I, th I don't know what we do with these, right? Okay, I, <laughs> I'm going to put these to the side just now. I'm glad I know like a little bit of German. So that's, that's lemon. I mean, obviously you could guess by the colour of the wrapper, but uh, Zitronen Geschmack, Waldmeister Geschmack. I don't know what that is. Well, that's raspberry. I know that one. <laughs> this is this is fun. Probably not that exciting for you guys, me trying to remember things in German from when I was at school. Oh, oh my worst <laughs> These are like my mortal enemy and they keep popping back up, these pens. Oh my goodness, these are the Spectrum War uh, tri-blend alcohol markers. Yeah, and these are the markers that spawned my Imaginarium, uh, which has become a very successful picture. Uh, alcohol markers just not my thing, so I will also put these into the stash shop. Thank you ever so much. What a collection of stuff. Right, now I'm going to read the rest of the note. <laughs> I've also included a handmade Christmas card, though this will probably arrive after the holidays, and here we are. And I wanted to give you the Copic illustration that was inspired by an art prompt you gave me quite a while ago. That's right, I remember now. Many greetings from Germany, Michaela. P.S. The paint puck is for you to use. It does help to get paint off your brush. Well, I have heard that, so thank you, because it's something that I've never tried. Uh, the Okay, you can find me on Instagram. Yep, okay. So that is absolutely lovely, Michaela. Thank you ever so much. You don't say anything about these. Uh, do, do I dissolve these in water? Because uh, they feel really hard. Like, is it a drink? or Because it doesn't actually tell you. Br I don't know what browse a broken. Broken, I think, is like a, is it not like a chunk of something? Or like a, well, maybe it's a cube. Uh, I don't, don't know what browse is. Right, I'm going to have to look this up. Hang on. Oh, Italian and English, there's a surprise, right? Let's get this changed. German German is the only one that I use because, well, it's another language that um, I see stuff in. Uh, right, browser. 
Fizzy drink. Right, okay, okay, okay. So yeah, well, I'm assuming that we mixed this with waterline. God, that was fun. I set myself in a wee adventure there. Right, okay. Uh, Black Rose, uh, Michaela, I'm just going to call you Michaela, seeing as that is your name. Uh, I really, really appreciate all of this stuff. This is so generous of you. Fizzy drink. Imagine not knowing fizzy drink in German. Goodness sake. Oh, this is from my serial commenter. Oh, look. Merry Christmas, Gem, your serial commenter. <laughs> Alpacas are just poodle giraffes. <laughs> That's hilarious. Today, tell, today will be amazing. Oh my goodness. Divine colour maker of hand lettered custom products. To bring you joy and bringing joy to others. That definitely brings joy to me, so thank you. Oh, look, they're so cute. <laughs> oh, Daria, thank you so much. You always cheer me up. Like, you really, really do. And we've got more llama stickers, which is great because. Uh, I don't have, I think I've got a llama sticker left. I don't think I do. For my next sketchbook, I always have one on the front of my sketchbooks. It's just this weird thing that I do. Okay, oh, what is this in here? Uh, where do we open? Now, I think this is, uh, someone emailed, yeah, this is, okay. I was just checking to see if there was a wee letter or anything. I don't think there is. I think this is the box of stuff from Yvonne. Uh, she had emailed me and said that she had unused and unwanted art supplies and uh, she would like to send them to me. Um, which again, like they're really, really thoughtful guys, honestly. If anybody needs to declutter, feel free to send it this way because we'll put it to use. Um, and this is what this looks like. See, she hasn't put any sort of note in, so, but I, I'm making the assumption that that's who it is that's, uh, that's sent. Uh, so let's get a wee quick look at what's going on in here. Okay, we have got the, uh, a selection of Derwent pastel pencils. That's why she's wrapped them up. One, two, three, nine different colours here. Yes, yeah, so I'm assuming all these little all these little parcels of the pencils. Okay, so we've got a couple of Karen Dash Super Colour. These are the aquarelle pencils and the big chunky Albrecht Durer watercolour pencils. So I'm drawing pencils, which obviously, oh goodness me, they're bees. Whoa, more pencils, more pencils. What have we got here? Uh, so we've got some of, oh, these are more of the super color. Uh, yeah, and the water soluble Derwent sketching pencils and the Prismalo as well. Excellent, this is such a nice selection of stuff. These are the Stabilo fine liners. Uh, these are really good. Uh, the, yeah, the 0.88 ones. Um, the colours in these are really vibrant and the nibs so so sturdy. These are these are really good, especially for see really busy colouring books where the spaces are really tight. These are excellent for that. Okay, we have got <laughs> oh I recognise these. Uh, these are the art crayons that were in the last. I want to say scroller box. They kind of remind me of Faber-Castell gelatos a little bit, like same sort of thing. And we have the Albrecht Dürer uh, watercolour markers. These are awesome. I really enjoyed this. There's an earth green one. Uh, yeah, these are great fun. These are so, so, so good. Um, I, had a, I had a really good time with these. <laughs> like maybe a bit too much of a good time. So we've got, oh, we're back to the Derwent, Derwent Graffy Tints and a Derwent Charcoal Pencil. Mars McGrath Black as well. My goodness, what a selection. I might have to have like a separate pencil se section in the um, in the stash shop now. Uh, okay, more Derwent, Derwent charcoal pencils, uh, white, light and dark. Everyone, this is a lot of stuff. Oh, and it's the uh, it's the Derwent Inktense blocks, not that long ago. And guess what? I had great fun with these two. <laughs> They're awesome. They're really, really cool. And another Derwent, oh good grief. <gasps> It's the graphy tint set and it is completely and utterly unused, like totally unused. Well, someone's going to get really excited by that. Starting to like sweat a bit here. Look at all these paintbrushes! Uh, Windsor & Newton foundation brushes, a number 10 flat and a number 14 flat. Synthetic bristles, pretty good for acrylic painting. Zooting artist brush. So we've got a couple of angled brushes here. Uh, not so sure about the bristles on that, but the yes, uh, so we have a selection of these angled brushes. So we've got sizes 9, 10, 11, and 12. And I've got two of the H&B 
brushes and these are supposed to be liner brushes they do need the the bristles do need a little bit of tlc but that's easily fixed um and they've got nice ergonomic grips on them as well so you can get a nice steady hand which is always helpful for liner brushes especially for someone like me that has involuntary hand twitches uh, so that's a number one and a zero 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 so uh, yeah i can get i've got a little bit of uh bristle conditioner that i can put on that and just sort of bring that all back together nicely well good grief and i don't really know what else to say everyone thank you very much that is a a bumper pile of stuff <laughs> like it really really is uh, and i think that's probably going to keep the stash shop going for a little while i really appreciate all of this that that's the last of that um of that package that came from the peel box um you I, yeah, this is just, it's so generous, guys. It really, really is. I have been, I have been incredibly, incredibly lucky uh, this past few months. Yeah, so I really just want to be able to give people an opportunity to try out supplies and not have to pay full price for them or to buy a full set of them and until they decide they like them. And that's kind of always been my philosophy. The only time that I charge nearer you know like a recommended retail price if it's a completely unused item and it's a full size version uh, like for example if it was say 120 set of uh you know polychromos pencils i'm not going to give them away for five pounds <laughs> but you understand what i'm saying the likes of this stuff this is a great opportunity to try things out um so grab yourself a bargain i don't know when i'm gonna have time to put all this in the stash shop if i'm honest uh, i'll probably do it a, a few items at a time just you know when when time allows me to do that so i think we'll call it quits at that today i want to thank you all very much for watching and i shall see you all back in the cave really soon for another video <laughs> have a good day everyone bye for now